It's a stark warning of what Vancouver could look like when the big one hits. A report to city council outlines which neighborhoods and which types of buildings are most at risk of being destroyed in an earthquake. The challenge is what to do about it before catastrophe strikes. CTV's Abigail Turner reports. The city of Vancouver is home to many unique, vibrant neighborhoods, many now listed as being most at risk when a massive earthquake hits. The report does paint a challenging picture of what an earthquake could mean for the city, absolutely. And what it could mean, $17 billion worth of destruction, more than 6,000 privately owned buildings damaged, and more than 1,300 people potentially severely injured or killed. The information shared in a report presented to city councillors calling for staff to develop a comprehensive seismic risk reduction strategy as scientists predict a mega thrust quake off the coast in the next 50 years. Everyone in Vancouver knows that earthquakes are a massive risk for the city. Micah Hilt, the lead seismic policy planner, found these six neighbourhoods could see the greatest impact, many built before 1990 with older brick, wood and concrete. In those areas, three quarters of the people are renting. Many of them are low income, many of them are seniors, and that is a key focus as we uh, work to develop a strategy to reduce risk gradually. According to one expert, making the seismic changes benefits more than just those in Vancouver. We are all connected economically. The, the uh, uh, a catastrophe in British Columbia and Vancouver because City Council fails to act Harm, will harm the rest of the country. The current report does not outline costs, but is calling for provincial and federal support. Its choice is between paying for mitigation now in a, in a stately, well thought out, planned process, or recovering from a disaster and then paying for the mitigation. With councillors agreeing to have staff develop a risk reduction strategy for 2025, Hilt's team will compile one that is expected to share just how much money it could cost in what would be a massive undertaking. Abigail Turner, CTV News, Vancouver.